Hello Legal Hustlers. In this video, we delve into the world of UN Peacekeeping Operations. UN Peacekeeping Operations, PKOs, are missions deployed by the United Nations to help countries torn by conflict create conditions for lasting peace. These operations involve military, police, and civilian personnel from various countries working together under UN command and control. UN Peacekeeping Operations principles are 1. Consent of the parties. Both the host country and conflicting parties must agree to the peacekeeping mission voluntarily. 2. Impartiality. Peacekeepers must remain neutral, treating all parties equally and fairly without taking sides. 3. Non-use of force. Peacekeepers use force only in self-defense or to fulfill their mandate, focusing primarily on monitoring and observation. 4. Defense of the mandate. Peacekeepers carry out specific tasks as directed by the UN Security Council, staying within their authorized limits. 5. Respect for sovereignty. Peacekeeping respects the host country's sovereignty, aiding its peace efforts without interference. 6. Political neutrality. Peacekeepers avoid involvement in the host country's politics, focusing on facilitating dialogue and political processes. 7. Human rights and gender equality. Peacekeepers protect civilians, especially vulnerable groups like women and children, upholding human rights and promoting gender equality. United Nations Mission in the Republic of South Sudan, UNMISS, Principles, UNMISS was established in 2011 with the primary goal of supporting the government of South Sudan in consolidating peace and security, and to help establish conditions for development. Its principles include consent of the parties, impartiality, and non-use of force except in self-defense and defense of the mandate. Case study. UNMIS has faced significant challenges due to the complex nature of the conflict in South Sudan, including political instability, ethnic tensions, and violence. The mission has been involved in protecting civilians, supporting humanitarian assistance, facilitating political dialogue, and monitoring human rights. Critical appraisal. NMIS has been criticized for various reasons, including allegations of inefficiency in protecting civilians during outbreaks of violence, challenges in implementing its mandate due to limited resources and logistical difficulties, and questions about its ability to address underlying political and social issues contributing to conflict. United Nations Mission for the Referendum in Western Sahara, Minnesota Principles. Minnesota was established in 1991 to oversee the ceasefire and organize a referendum on self-determination for the people of Western Sahara. Its principles include impartiality, consent of the parties, and non-use of force except in self-defense. Case study Minnesota has been involved in monitoring the ceasefire between the Palaiserio Front and Morocco facilitating negotiations, and conducting voter identification and registration for the proposed referendum. However, the referendum has not been held due to disagreements over voter eligibility. Critical appraisal Minnesota's effectiveness has been limited by the failure to hold the referendum, which is central to its mandate. The mission has also faced challenges related to access and cooperation from the parties involved, as well as broader political complexities in the region. UN Stabilization Mission in Haiti, Minister, Principles MINUSTAH was established in 2004 to support the transitional government of Haiti in maintaining stability, promoting human rights, and fostering political dialogue. Its principles include consent of the parties, impartiality, and non-use of force except in self-defense. Case study Minister has been involved in a range of activities, including security sector reform, support for elections, humanitarian assistance, and efforts to address gang violence and crime. The mission also faced challenges such as the 2010 earthquake and subsequent cholera outbreak. Critical appraisal. MINUSTAH has been both praised for its efforts in stabilizing Haiti after periods of political turmoil and criticized for incidents such as the introduction of cholera by UN peacekeepers. The mission's withdrawal in 2017 marked a transition to a new unpresence focused on sustainable development. Thank you for watching. We're thrilled to have you here and hope that you find our content informative, engaging, and entertaining. Be sure to like, 
Share and subscribe and don't forget to join us for further updates.